Hey, it's Seal, and welcome back to the series, How to Be a Sweat in Modern Warfare. In this video, I'm going to show you the weapons that I recommend to make you a better player. If you agree or disagree with any of my recommendations, drop me a comment down below and tell me anything you want me to know. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel for more aggressive plays and high kill games. Like the video if you enjoyed it, comment, turn on post notifications, and we'll see you in the video. Right now I'm going to go over all the loadout guns, all the guns that you should be using, what you shouldn't be using. So if we take a look at the Kilo, the Kilo is pretty decent for multiplayer. I wouldn't think it's top tier. It's really good in Warzone. I definitely recommend it for Warzone. It's not that top tier. FAL, FAL was really good at one point. It's still pretty decent. I don't think it's definitely one of the top guns, but it's definitely better than most of them. M4A1, this thing is always going to be the top gun. It's the probably the best gun in multiplayer warzone it does really good but it's it's really good at medium range it shreds people in medium range so long range it's decent mid range not that great but multiplayer this gun is definitely meta this thing i feel like it could have been good at one point like they try to make it good but it's the the time to kill is horrible and it's a three round burst so it's not good Odin is not good at all. Don't use the Odin. It's just too slow of a gun, and if you miss one shot, it's devastating. So don't don't use the Odin. M13 is pretty decent. It shoots fast for AR, which is good, but ARs usually do pretty good when it's more damage per bullet, and this is not really in that category. So it's a decent gun, has low recoil, so it's really good for beginners, but not my favorite. Scar, this thing has a lot of potential, but the time to kill is still pretty average. And it's a slow shooting gun, so I wouldn't recommend the Scar. AK-47, this, this gun is really powerful, just the recoil is pretty bad. So if you guys can control the recoil, I do recommend the AK. Ram, Ram is a really fast killing gun. Again, I don't really like the damage per bullet. It's not as high because it's, the fire rate is a lot higher. So I don't really recommend it that much, but it is pretty good. It kills really fast. So if you guys if you guys like the RAM, you can do the RAM, but it's it's okay for me. I, I don't know. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. Growl, this thing is really good when it comes to aiming. Really good when it comes to aiming. You could hit like every single shot. The grab is ridiculous. The only thing is it's not that fast when it comes to killing people but if you can hit all your shots which is what this thing is good for then you can you can do really good with the growl amax this thing does a lot of damage i do recommend the amax it's just sometimes with certain attachments you can miss a lot of shots because of the high recoil similar to the ak so the amax is is good i i, I think it's one of the top guns right now I think I think that's good. And 94, this gun's pretty weird when it comes to recoil. It shoots up real quick and then it shoots in a straight line. The recoil control is really weird. I don't know if I would really recommend this gun, but it is pretty fun to use. The recoil is manageable when you get the hang of it. AS Val, this thing has a lot of recoil. It is really good for mid-range, similar to the M4, so I I, I kind of like it. I like using it, but I don't think it's a good gun to use when you're playing like competitive. SMGs, the AUG is very underrated. I think the AUG is really good, but the only problem with it is it's kind of a mid-range to long-range gun, which is what the assault rifle is supposed to be, so I don't really use it, but it's pretty decent. I don't mind it at all. P90, P90 looks like it could be good, but I don't I don't think it's that good. Hip firing, if you put like the MW laser and all that stuff, it kills pretty fast. So it's it's pretty unique, pretty unique in multiplayer. Warzone, there's not enough range on it, so you can't really use it. P90 is not good in Warzone. MP5, best gun in the game for SMGs. It's probably not even close. The, the fire rate is really high. The damage per bullet is really high. MP5 does a lot of damage close range. There's sometimes I even beat fire shotguns because you get a few shots off with the MP5. They miss the fire shotgun, kills them fast. Definitely recommend the MP5. It's almost good in every single category too, which is crazy. So I definitely recommend that. Uzi, if you compare the Uzi to the MP5, you can tell the MP5 kills faster, but the Uzi is very controllable and the mobility is higher. So the Uzi is definitely something to consider. I think people use it a lot in search, but I don't really use it. I might use it just to check it out, but it's a pretty decent gun. 
Bison is really good for mobility and it has a lot of bullets. It's fun to use, but it's not one of the top two guns. It's controllable though. Like if I see it in Warzone and I pick it up, I think I'll start using it. But I I wouldn't put this in my class. MP7. MP7 is a decent gun. I really like it. It shoots fast, it has low recoil, but it kills a little bit shorter than the MP5. So I always go MP5. But if the MP5, let's just say, didn't exist or it had a little bit more bad stats, I'd probably be using the MP7. Really controllable. I love the recoil. Good gun. Striker, I don't think I would ever use this gun. Let me see. You could look at the description right here. A hard hitting SMG that will shred at longer ranges than other weapons in this class. That's what assault rifles are for. So Striker is like, it doesn't know if it wants to be an SMG or an AR. So it's kind of like in the middle of that, which is not going to be very helpful. Because you're either going to be really good at close range or really good at mid range. And the Striker is decent at both ranges, but you don't want to be decent in this game. You want to be strong. So I wouldn't really recommend a Striker at all. Fennec, this gun kills really fast. I love using the Fennec. But the only problem with the Fennec is that it loses a lot of its bullets really fast. So you're just going to down one person in Warzone, down one, two people. In multiplayer, you, you kill people pretty fast, but you run a lot slower if you put the extended clip. And you can't really jump on people that much because of its ADS. So it's a good gun. I like it. I just wish it was more controllable and I wish it was a lot faster with the extended mag. The ISO, I didn't really like this gun. I don't like the feel of it. That's my main problem. I think it is pretty decent. I know the recoil is not that good, but it looks like it kills pretty fast. You could try the ISO. It's a decent gun. I don't like the feel, so I'm probably never going to use this thing unless I have to in like gunfight, but that's my opinion model with the fire breath shotgun model this thing is crazy i like it a lot it's even usable in warzone which i never really tried because i don't want to risk the eod and all that stuff but it's a pretty decent gun i don't mind the model at all r9 they nerfed this thing recently it's still powerful after the nerf you can still one shot people in multiplayer warzone it's usable now it's still usable it used to be overpowered but still usable i do love this gun if you take the dragon breath off, it's not that good. It's decent, not that good. So I wouldn't recommend it without dragon breath. 725. I would never use this in Warzone. I did when it first came out because I didn't really know better. And I did pretty well with this. But in multiplayer, this gun is broken. It's kind of like not fair because it's a one shot towards each person. And people get really annoyed. So if if the other team makes me really mad, I might in search and destroy. I might just camp in the corner with the shotgun. This one right here and just one shot everybody. But I wouldn't really recommend it for competitive play. But if you just want to camp in the corner, get the most kills possible, make the other team mad, I would definitely use this gun. Very toxic. Origin 12 shotgun. This thing used to be really good. They did nerf it, but I, th I still think it's really powerful. Really powerful gun. You just gotta keep spamming it because you just keep boom, 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 boom. So, oh, what did I do? Gun's really powerful. Effective at close range, like it says, the shotgun. So, I would probably use this gun again. I do like the feel of it too. You can run pretty decent with a no stock. So, it's a really decent gun. DLK Rogue. I don't think I would ever use this without the fire breath. It's origin is just so much better and this one like when you shoot at the recoils through the roof so wouldn't use the VLK rogue uh, it is sometimes a one shot two shot in warzone if you're just straight on their body so I, I don't mind picking it up from the start but I definitely wouldn't put this in my class jack 12 I'd never really use this I used it in gunfight it was pretty decent pretty fast killing gun but I wouldn't really use this just because I feel like you have to rely on the rate of fire. You have to hold the shoot button for it to keep firing instead of tapping it. So it's not my feel of a gun, but I think it is pretty decent with the killing. PKM, this is what I'm currently using in Warzone. This is probably the best LMG in the game. It takes three bullets to the chest to kill somebody in multiplayer and about seven bullets in Warzone. So this gun is ridiculous. It kills really fast. You can drop shot really easily with this gun and the recoil is really controllable. So I love the PKM. 
The reload time is not horrible, but it's not good. So if it could reload a little bit faster, maybe put sleight of hand on this thing, it would probably be top tier. I think it's top tier in my opinion, but it's it's not a gun for everybody. So you try it, you like it, you don't like it, then move on to something like the Kilo for Warzone. SA87, I don't like this gun. It feels really weird to me, really bulky. It is usable though. I used it a lot in Warzone when I picked it up from ground loot. Kills pretty fast, but I don't I don't really like it at all. M91, this thing kills pretty decently. It doesn't kill really fast, but it's not that slow either, so it's a it's an okay gun. The recoil is really controllable, so without putting much attachments on it, you can control it a lot and get a lot of long range kills. Like it says, neutralize targets at long ranges. So this gun is pretty good. Just not the best. MG34, this gun is the fastest killing gun in the entire game. It's not even close. You can pair it up with any single gun, it just destroys people. I like using it in Warzone because it's really fun, especially when you just kill somebody instantly. No matter what gun they have, you can just kill them instantly, especially when you get headshots. So I like using it, but it's really situational because in short ranges, you can't really pull the trigger in time because it's an LMG, so you might lose the MP5. Um, mid ranges, if you verse an M4, you might just wipe him out easily. The only problem is the recoil is kind of not controllable. It's a little bit controllable, but it's not really good. So if let's just say they're head glitching or peeking through a window, you're not going to get that good of a shot with this gun. And long range, it's horrible. So I love using it. It's a really fast killing gun. Don't really recommend it, especially for beginners. If you're not good with recoil control or using this gun in the right situation, then I wouldn't recommend it at all. Holger, this gun has a fast ADS. That's probably the only benefit of it. For an LMG, this clip is really short. Probably has 30 round clip, 60 round clip, maybe a 100 round clip, but I don't, I don't really know. Let me check. No, it just has 30 round actually. So it's 30 round or 60 rounds. That's all it is not good. I don't like it. Feels weird too. The recoil is not, not there. Recoil control is pretty high. Bruin, this gun kills pretty decently. It's really close to the growl. You know, the growl was really good for hitting all your shots, but it's not the best for killing, but it's pretty up there, pretty high up there. Bruin's the same way, but for an LMG, the recoil control is really good. The recoil is really low, so you can control it really easily. And the time to kill is pretty fast. So I would recommend this gun. This gun's pretty decent. They did nerf it, but you can barely tell the nerf. And you can see the damage is high, fire rate is high, range is high, accuracy is high. This gun's good in all situations, pretty much. Except close range, but sometimes close range, I'd be killing people somehow. I don't know how. Finn, this gun. Let me see. It's Bruin. I think if you if you take the Finn right here, you put this factory address. Look at this thing. Look at the fire rate. That thing is crazy. This thing destroys people mid-range, sometimes long ranges. The recoil is not as good as the Bruin. That's why people use the Bruin over this. I remember when this first came out, everybody was using it. And then they just kind of like realized it's not that good for recoil, which it isn't. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't really recommend this, but it is pretty fun to use. It kills really fast in mid-ranges. So if you're looking for a mid-range LMG, this might be the one for you. Just remember to get this, this is a barrel. If you don't have the barrel, the gun's kind of trash. Marksman Rifles, EBR, the recoil is pretty weird, you just gotta keep spamming this thing, don't just aim in like the MK2, shoot, shoot, no, you just keep spamming it over and over. Decent mid-range, but that's probably the only thing it's good for, wouldn't put it in a class. MK2, pretty good gun, love using it in multiplayer, Warzone, it's not good. If I find it on ground loot, I can get a few kills off it, but I wouldn't use it in Warzone. Car 98, really good in multiplayer. I get a lot of quick scopes with this gun. Really easy to use. Warzone, I wouldn't really recommend this gun because the bullet drop is pretty bad. And if you put the bullet drop really high, then the ADS is bad. So I wouldn't really use this gun. Crossbow, this thing is pretty much a joke. <laughs> People only use it for fun. It's not It's not good to use. Like the the bullet drop is really bad. The bullet velocity is also bad too. When you shoot, it takes like a second to hit. So I would probably never ever use this gun. But it's fun to use. It has explosive rounds. 
SKS, this is similar to the EBR, but a lot better, especially in closer ranges. You can just keep shooting over and over and over. And it has a small reticle too if you use iron sights, so I would definitely use this gun if I have to. I don't, I don't really use DMRs, but if I were to use a DMR, this is the gun I would probably use. SPR, they did nerf this, but it is really easy to hit your shots because the reticle is so small on the one scope. Let me see, do I have it unlocked? I don't think I have the scope unlocked, but it is really fun to use. I might level this gun up, actually. It's, I like the feel of it, too. It feels good. Dragon off one of the worst guns in the entire game. I tried to make a video off this just to see if it was actually usable, but this thing is garbage. It's trash. It's the worst gun in the game. If I pick this up in Warzone, I think I'd rather use my fists. So I don't think I'd ever, ever use this gun. HDR, this is one of the best snipers to use in Warzone. The bullet drop is really high and it's really easy to hit your shots too compared to the AX50. The only thing is uh, ADS is a little bit slower, but that's really the only downside. AX50, this is really good for quick scoping and pulling out fast shots. If you're sniping at mid-ranges, trying to get quick shots off, this gun is really fast with that. And the reticle is also pretty decent. You can hit your shots easily. So I love the AX50, really good gun. Rytec, this is really slow when you ADS. It can shoot semi-automatic. I know it shoots semi-automatic, but when you keep shooting it, it kicks really high, so it's kind of hard to just fire over and over like a SKS. And it does have explosive rounds, which is really good for Warzone because you can destroy a lot of vehicles a lot faster with this, so definitely, definitely good. Also, going back to the PKM, another big reason I use the PKM for Warzone is because with one clip, you can destroy a vehicle or a helicopter. So if somebody's getting away, I can just easily melt their whole vehicle. So PKM is really good for destroying vehicles. That's that's probably why I use it over the Kilo right now. Kilo, it's probably a lot better for mobility and hitting targets, but this, the PKM has a little bit uh, higher time to kill than the Kilo and it destroys vehicles a lot quicker. So I'm using the PKM. Riot Shield, I use the Riot Shield when it comes to the final circle in Warzone. It's really helpful, especially if there's just an open field, everybody fights. And they don't shoot at me because I have a riot shield. And then you can use flashbangs with this Semtex. And it's really overpowered. You really can't do anything against this. It's automatic loss. I know people use riot shield and a throwing knife in multiplayer. It's pretty stupid and unfair. But that's how people play the game. So riot shield, it's, it's fun to use. But definitely not meta. That's really it. And there you have it. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel for more aggressive plays and high kill games. I would like to close by saying I am very thankful for everything that I have, and I'd like to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I also pray for people, so if you have any prayer requests, you can leave that down in the comment section below, or message me on my IG account, which is the underscore fifth underscore seal. Like, comment, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you in the next video.